I've got the thumper. Welcome back to the Saigon Report, and today I've got something really special for you. Officially, this was called the M79, M79 Grenade Launcher. Now the M79 Grenade Launcher actually came into service in 1961. So that means that it was ready to go by the time we were doing combat in Vietnam. And of course this was the 40 millimeter grenade launcher precursor to the M203. How does it work? Super simple. You push that lever, it opens up, you load it just like your breech loading shotgun. Drop a 40 millimeter grenade in there, close it, you've got a tang mounted safety, forward to fire, put it up in your shoulder, and bloop. Right up front here, we have a leaf or a ladder sight, which allows you to shoot out to 400 meters. Now some people would say 400 meters is stretching it, but easily between one, two, and 300 meters. Now what could you shoot out of this? And a gunner, could carry frag and they obviously would carry fragmentation grenades but they would also carry smoke grenades they would also carry flares and pop-ups which made the m79 gunner very versatile as a soldier now how were these constructed again like world war ii guns they were made of a lot of steel and hardwood hardwood stock solid steel the empty guns weighed around 6.7 pounds now, you say, that's weird, isn't that upside down? The reason that this is designed, the stock, because if you're going to shoot a grenade beyond 100 yards to, let's say three, maybe 350, you're going to have to line it up, and you could line up this sight to shoot all the way out to three or 400 yards. This is me lining up a 300 yard sight, hence the reason the stock is designed like that. Of course, it has sling swivels in the back and in the front, so that you could sling this thing up and carry it. If you'd like to purchase one of these, you can actually buy a 37 millimeter replica of the M79 called the Thumper from Spikes Tactical. Go to spikestactical.com for more information. Most gunners were issued a pistol. So they were issued this and a pistol. Oh, something else that they designed for Vietnam. They designed flechette rounds, which fired little steel darts and also buckshot rounds. So you could fire buckshot or flechettes close in out of one of these. While we're talking about grenades, when we entered Vietnam, we started the conflict, the standard fragmentation grenade was the M26A1 fragmentation grenade, and it looks kind of like a lemon or kind of like an egg, right? About halfway through the Vietnam conflict, they redesigned the fragmentation grenade and it became the M67 baseball grenade, which obviously looks like a baseball. And you say, well, why did they do that? When they redesigned the M67 grenade from the M26, these were actually cheaper and easier to manufacture and they had a better kill zone or kill radius than the original grenades. So these were an upgrade. Now, did we just throw these in the garbage? No, what they did, they gave them to soldiers and Marines and said, throw these at the enemy until they're all gone. And when those are all gone, we'll give you the new ones. And if you know anything about our modern military, the M67 grenade is still issued to this day. Why did they call it the thumper? Well, because of the unique sound that it made. This had a lot of nicknames. It was called the bloop tube, the blooper. I even saw that it was called Big Ed. Not sure where Big Ed came from, but the thump gun or the thumper was probably one of the more popular nicknames for this gun right here. But the official name was the M79 Grenade Launcher. 